Hey guys, quick by Chemistry Basics here. Let's talk about density gradient centrifugation. The term density gradient means density of liquid and centrifuge tube keeps changing as we move from the top to the bottom of the tube. One of the most common ingredient used for making density gradient is a solution of sucrose. The gradient is prepared in stepwise manner. For this, Solution of sucrose with different concentration is prepared. The most concentrated one is first layered in the bottom of the tube. This is followed by stepwise layering with decreasing concentration of sucrose. The topmost layer is least concentrated while the bottom layer is the most concentrated one. The sample which is to be analyzed is layered on the top and centrifugation is carried out. The particles which are very dense will travel towards the bottom layer while the particles which are less dense will remain on the top. Notice this carefully. Here as the moving particles reaches the sucrose layer which is equal in density, the particles stop moving. The particles get accumulated in different layers depending on their densities. After centrifugation, when the material in the centrifuge tube is fractionated, the purification of sample becomes very easy. Applications Density gradient centrifugation is one of the widely used techniques in biochemistry cell biology and molecular biology. For example, separation of different subunits of ribosomes, separation of DNA containing N14 and N15 isotopes, separation of Okazaki fragments is all possible with the use of density gradient centrifugation.